Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Right now we're transitioning over from Slandance to Sundance Shorts, and right now I have a Sundance documentary short called Zion, and I'm here sitting with the director, the director of photography, and the composer. Director, Mr. Floyd Russ, how are you doing? Great, how Excellent. You doing? Greg Wilson, director of photography. How are you doing? Excellent. And Victor Margo, you are the composer for the film. Correct. Absolutely. Good morning. Excellent. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Good. Welcome to Park City. Good morning. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. So tell me how it was to work on this film. I mean, it's kind of a, Zion is an amazing young man. I guess let's start with Zion. Can you kind of give the uh, audience a little background on who he is? Yeah. Hopefully, um, you know, most of you guys haven't heard about this, but it's a film about a disabled wrestler um, who was born in foster care and grew up in the foster care system in Ohio and he was adopted at age 16 which you know is a pretty long time to be in foster care for he's been through eight or nine different homes wow. um, and he used wrestling um, late in elementary school to kind of abandon the idea of prosthetics and accept his body the way it is and really f develop into a really strong young man and you know I think the film projects that now he's able to go to college he got a scholarship um, he's wrestling Division two, I believe, and he's doing quite well. Wow. So, you know, he's not here right now because he's traveling in. He'll be here in a couple hours. Um, but he's a, he's a great young man, and we, we try to approach it with a really cinematic and epic score to give him that a kind of a tribute film. Visually, it's just stunning. Greg, did a great job on the Thank cinematics, you. absolutely. And the score as well, I mean, adds so yeah. much dynamic to the film as well. But I kind of wanted to start with how, what was the challenge of putting this young man's true, his struggles and his everyday story, what was the challenge of visually communicating that through, through a film? Um, there was a lot of setup to this, a lot of research, you know, getting to know Zion on the phone, his mom, his coach was a great collaborator on this. He made a lot of this possible. And, you know, me and Greg have worked on a couple things, and I think everything we approach, we want to make it as cinematic as possible. Um, and, we, and there's a reason for that, because I think there's like a, a, a beauty to this person's struggle, what they've <coughs> overcome. Absolutely. Um, and I don't really know how we went about like choosing how we shot this, but I know we were coming off another job and we really, I mean, you can talk about Panavision a little bit and things like that. Yeah, we, I mean, I think, you know, doing a documentary, especially in kind of a short window, like we had, um, I think, you know, Floyd and I did as much research as we could so that we could be as prepared as possible, but at the same time, uh, in a documentary, you have to go in as open-minded as possible, um, so and we had kind of limited, you know, yeah. funds for this. So it was basically we, um, Panavision came and supported us very heavily. You know, we shot anamorphic oh, series, nice. old seventies. So nice. We have very wow. special lenses, and yeah. in a way where we were use, we were able to use a lot of natural light, mm -hmm. you know, and then accented it with just one or two little things. Yeah. And then crafted in the color, which you know I the think the color is stunning. I have to say, absolutely, yeah. the color in the film is fantastic. And one of the the scenes that stands out to me the most in sp specifically the trailer was the scene where he's kind of it's it's almost to me it's like an introduction where he's walking out onto the mat and all of the other wrestlers are kind of just kind of looking, but you can see in their face that it's just something that they've never encountered yeah. before. And so, yeah. can you kind of speak on that moment and how you guys captured that? I remember that shot because I think we did the most takes of that shot. <laughs> and it was this long, steady shot where we walk in from outside the gym. We walk in and we have this huge, heavy camera, long lens. And I think we did like 28 takes of that, this wow. shot. And we ended up just not even using any of the steady part. It's just the part where the kids stand up. <laughs> yeah, luckily we did. We could have, <clears throat> we got enough access design where we could kind of, we kind of build these, some of these things. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of a mixture of, you know, very honest, real verite footage of him doing his thing and then there's another time where we could kind of focus on these portraits and kind of recreate, I, like things. recreate things that he experienced through the conversations mm -hmm. that we had with him both leading up to the film yeah. and then kind I mean, of once yeah. we were with him and... and the the pre-interviews kind of told us like these are important beats from his life and obviously okay. we're not able to show these beats of when he was 10 and 11 walking to the gym the first time but we wanted to capture at least the emotional notion of what that stress and that initial judgment that the kids must have had like what Absolutely. this, this, this yeah. guy is not part of our team we need to wrestle against yeah, it's, them it's a different it's a different yeah. experience and how do you train as a yeah. as a wrestler how do you how do you prepare for somebody like zion mm -hmm. who's i mean he's built like from the upper body up like a greek god you could see him when he's he got stands no up legs at the very end. Yeah. absolutely yeah <clears throat> i mean and his handshake alone he's imposing even, yeah, yeah you know um yeah and that shot it's specifically it, you know we we play it twice in a way because at first it's the um, it's the hump he has to get over. He's the outsider. Yes. Everyone's staring at him. That's actually his own team, you know. So we keep them out of focus. You don't know who they are. They could be anybody. And then later on, at the end, don't want to give it away, but there's obviously a payoff to that where you re realize, wait a second, they're actually celebrating him. They're celebrating him. Yeah. Um, Excellent. And we just played with that in the edit really well. 
Um, and that, I mean, that was a whole other process. The edit and the music was just... Yeah, you know, and moving on to the music. Victor, how was composing a score for, some, for a, a documentary like this? Was it, was it a great experience? Yeah, and, uh, and more than anything, um, it was different than any documentary I might have worked in the past. Um, I have worked with Floyd before, um, but not in, a, in this kind of you know, format. And the amazing thing, or the challenging thing is that um, from the beginning, you know, this is not a, a normal documentary or like, uh, you know, something. No, absolutely, I agree. It's, it's, it's heavy uh, image, you know, like heavy storytelling. Uh, uh, and, and visually it's... Yes, yeah, so rich visually. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and so when, when you know, uh, you know, as composers, we get to see a very close to final, you know, work in progress, but getting closer, and all of a sudden it was like, a, wow, you know, like, what, you know, what's going on? Yeah. There's so much music in here, Floyd. You know, there's so much sound design, and, and, and like, I thought it was a documentary, you know. Yeah. So, so, I mean, for me, it's, 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 you know, yeah. a, a pleasure. You know, like working on, on Blade Runner. Or something yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, um, so, be able to handle both things. You know, still. You know how you treat the subject matter without you know going you know fireworks all over the place. Um, you know, be able to handle both things. You know, have that balance of you know creating music that pays respect, uh, tells the story, helps tell the story, but at the same time it really continues, grabs you like you know has a momentum. You know, it was it was challenging, but uh, uh, I mean I really enjoyed it. Of course, absolutely, yeah. and I agree that it's it's. It's a great documentary in that it's a document, a very cinematic documentary, as we'd already oh, said, yeah. and it, it's very visually heavy. And uh, you did a great job, thank you, as yeah. an as a composer, kind of using the music to accent that visual, those visuals, and really help with the emotional side, I think, of the piece, and to really yeah. kind of connect emotionally with um, his everyday mm -hmm. life and his everyday struggle yeah. and everything that Zion has to go through. Yeah, I mean, so, our goal was to kind of. We didn't have a set length. We weren't like, this is going to be 10 minutes, you know. It could be whatever length we wanted to, but when you see the energy of what wrestling is and the life that he's lived and we wanted to really pack it in and, and jam it in and jamming all that emotion into 10 minutes, the triumphs, the struggles. I mean, some of these things are really serious issues, obviously, in terms of what he went through at foster care. Um, but that he came out of it and he got to experience <clears throat> this kind of high school life that, in a way, you know, it, it does consist of getting to hang out and party with other kids, just cramming all of that into one thing. It has to glide just like a composition would in its own. Absolutely. You know? And so for me, the music like, is epic. And the fact that you say, you know, we, in a way, hey, we approach a documentary like Blade Runner, <laughs> that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of a little symbol of how this movie kind of comes together with all this different style and different you know, cinematic techniques. We're using real footage, using his photographs, and just trying to jam it all in there. Lucky we, we pulled it off. Well, you guys did a fantastic job. I love <laughs> it. I can't wait to see the full feature, the full 10 minutes of it. Where Where is it premiering? When? And, and how can people see this? Um, premieres today, which is awesome, um, at Prospector Square Theater at 9.15. Uh, tomorrow at King's Theater at 8.30, so we're not going to sleep much tonight. Maybe we'll just <laughs> stay up the whole night. Um, sleep when we're back in New York. And then, you know, hopefully we'll release it online or um, we don't we don't really know yet, but we're hoping to figure that out in the next couple Excellent. of days. Excellent. And for each of you, where can um, fans and, and audience stay up to date with everything that you guys are doing? Social media? Uh, yeah, we have a website at zionmovie.com. Zion Movie Excellent. And zionmovie.com. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you guys cool. so much thank for you. spending your time with me thank on the couch. Awesome. Thanks for talking about Zion. He's an amazing young man. Yeah. Definitely get to Prospector tonight to catch the full 10 minutes of the film. You will definitely not want to miss out. We have much more coming up with Sundance Shorts. Stay tuned.